Hi, I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. Join us as we follow the moon. Today we want to show you a great Encore Park in Harlingen, Texas. This is uh, Tropic Wind, an Encore Park. Tons of amenities as you can see by the fitness room, but we're going to show you the whole park and everything that it has to offer. Come along. Now this is located just off of 499 Loop, which is a divided highway that runs around the east and north side of the town of Harlingen, Texas. Uh, it's very convenient to shopping to Valley International Airport. It's only about 10 minutes away. Uh, everything is right there. Very easy entry to the park. And even though the address is there on 499, you bring back their private road that takes you back just a little ways. You do have another intersection then. This is a map of the park. And this one does have a dedicated thousand trail section over by that 10 mile an hour speed sign. There's a green area. And those are the thousand trails dedicated sites. We'll show you those as we go along. So you come back about a block and you'll see some areas over here on the right where they you can stage your RV if you're coming in. It's not a bad place to unhook, although the park is pretty generous with size to get through. It is gated. And just simply enter your code and the gate goes across. when you go past the little guard building, the very first thing that you'll see is the main hall. Really nice grounds, really nice amenities. Things are very well taken care of. It is really clean. Now this is on the side of the main hall is their laundry room. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice laundry. They do have a couple heavy duty washers in there. So if you've got comforters or heavier things you need to, to clean, it's great. When you come in the main entrance, those windows along the side are where you'll check in. Their mailboxes are located right at the end of the T-shaped hall. And then you have the big main hall. This is where a lot of the events, their Sunday morning church services, all those things are held. Right beside it is a great pool and spa. And off of the pool is their shower house. Now there are four individual baths on each side of the building, so there's eight. And there are some bathrooms scattered around. Uh, there's also a shower area in the main hall. There you'll see the racetrack over there. They have RC racetrack set up that's really, really neat. There's horseshoes located just to the right where you see those people over there playing horseshoes. And that is their oasis. There's a little pond there in the middle of it. It's just so pretty. Mm -hmm. Very nicely landscaped. The whole park is just really well done. Not a big fan of their speed bumps. They're kind of big, <laughs> but I understand why they're there. Take them slow. There are dumpsters and recycle dumpsters around the park. So you're never very far from a place to, to dispose of your, your trash. We're going to make a left here and there's going to be a couple more main buildings for their amenities coming along here. The building you see in front of you there, that one is Friendship Hall. And Friendship Hall is where they have a lot of their card meetups. They have puzzles in the back corner. They have a little library up here in the front. And just on down the road from Friendship Hall, which is what you see there on the right, I'm sorry, on the left, just beside that are their pickleball courts. They're nice too. Yeah. And they've got the divider between the courts, so you don't have to worry about missed shots. Beside that is the pavilion, which has got picnic tables. It's got a big smoker set up there on it. 
And the next building over is Friendship Hall. I'm sorry, it's Veterans Hall. Veterans Hall has got the pool tables, ping pong, darts, a lot of neat stuff in the front and a fitness center there in, in behind it that's one of the biggest fitness rooms I think we've seen. Yeah, it was nice. When you go just down past Veterans Hall, this building is their maintenance building, but it also includes their wood shop. Right behind it, shuffleboard. So everything. Yeah, a little bit of something for everybody. And they're constantly doing shows and musical reviews and uh, professional entertainment. And anybody there can get tickets for it. It's, it's really, really a nice little resort. We're gonna go across the park and the very outside rows are permanent mobile home spots all the way around the park. We're gonna turn just before we get there. And these are the RV spots. Now the RV spots in this area are, if you're gonna come down and stay for a month or stay for this, the winter, stay for an annual, these are not necessarily 4,000 trails and Encore. They're nice spots, they're grass spots, they all have concrete patios and palm trees everywhere. Oh yeah, I love that. And you can see the grounds are just kept immaculate. At the end of this street, you'll find Songbird Park. They have bird houses, they have uh, little areas that the birds kind of gravitate in and you'll see people down there shooting pictures of them and it's it's really nice right beside songbird park you'll see this little walkway and when you come back the walkway you'll see their dog park maggie's favorite place there's actually two dog parks here there's a small one at the back but as long as that park is it's a great run for them. it sure is now we're going across the back of the park right now. Again, you'll see there's there's more dumpsters scattered throughout, so they're always close by and convenient. And we're gonna take you down here. If you're an Encore 1000 Trails member, we're gonna show you that section. And in this park, the sites for 1000 Trails and Encore are not assigned. You are just told to be in this about three row section of Thousand Trail sites. They're all marked with a big flag and they tell you what site numbers to, to choose from. And these are the Thousand Trail sites. And the only difference is you're parked on a gravel mixture rather than on the grass. So to me, that's a plus. The car fits in the front of the pad. And then you have grass between you and your neighbor's parking area. So they're nice wide spots. The streets are nice and wide. Everything's paved. I love that Thousand Trails members were all together. It was because of that, I think, very friendly, a lot of camaraderie in this yes. park. The hookups are all at the back of the sites, which is nice. You don't have to worry about tail swing getting in or out water and sewer right there and the electrical pedestal right behind your rig so kathy what did you think about our stay at encore tropic winds in harlingen texas this is an awesome place i love it it's got tons of amenities it's a very friendly park we have met so many people here and they have been so welcoming. It's It's been a great, great stop for us. Yes, it has. And the best part, with this being an Encore Park and our trails collection, we just had 21 nights here that cost us absolutely zero out of pocket. One of the things that we love about our 1,000 Trails membership, and if a 1,000 Trails membership is something you would like to find out more about to help keep your camping budget in line, definitely check the description below. We've got a link in there for phone and email contacts for some people with Thousand Trails that will definitely get you fixed up. It's still worth your time. Definitely. Yes. 
So if you enjoyed the video, leave us a thumbs up. At the end of the video, you're gonna see a button up here. Tap that button if you haven't already subscribed and ring the notification bell, and that way you'll know when every one of our videos come out. And thank you for following us as we follow the movies.